next, we got Fahad versus Ahmed Ayaz. Right, and another very good matchup with KHK member Fahad Abdul Razak versus the Reza Martial Arts Center, Ahmad Ayad. Ahmad Ayad is exactly right. Uh, we're going to be showing, we're going to be seeing some, uh, again, another skillful performance here uh, from both fighters coming in from jiu-jitsu backgrounds with uh, KHK MMA uh, against uh, a really well-trained grappling team in the Reza Mixed Martial Arts Center. Yeah, this is the co-main event, so these guys are the, uh, you know, ones to watch, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the co-main event, uh, action-packed. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds, and I just uh, can't wait to see Fahad. If you look at Fahad, he seems like a young kid. He's only 19 years old. Uh, he's already been selected from the, the, the Bahrain National Tryouts. A, a lot of, of future and a lot of uh, a lot of talk about this young kid. Yeah, definitely. Definitely looking forward to this fight. A little bit of an age difference, 28, being Ahmad Ayad against the young 19-year-old Ahmad Abdullah. Now, if you look at the, if you look at Fahad, I mean, a very, uh, you know, it's just a soft-spoken kid, really nice kid, um, and um, you know, he's, he's he, he enjoys this, he loves this. He's in training every single day at KHK MMA. Um, he just never never misses practice. Very unusual for him to, uh, for him to do that. And uh, here here he is in the co-main event. Fahad, he knows we know that he has the heart of a lion. He steps into the cage. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Ahmed Ayad kind of responds to um, and, and kind of adjusts his you know, his uh, fight and uh, his performance here against him. Because he knows yeah, Fahad coming knows out, him. all smiles. He's just he's just enjoying enjoying this. Immediately into a takedown. Huge takedown from Fahad. We'll see how he's able to uh, deliver some punches here from the top. Passes right into the half guard, benching his position immediately. Got him into the fence. That's really not a, where uh, Ahmed wants to be. Um, stuffed up in that cage really limits your movement and lim limits uh, what you can do to get out of it, out of this position. Right now he's in the half guard here, and Fahad is really uh, kind of dominating and uh, seems to have really just spider webbed him and tied him up really nicely here. I'm in trying to kind of keep him close, wrapping him around the body, and he kind of, he gave up the full mount there. Not not a good position for him right now. Look at this! Now he's going for that arm bar immediately, right wow, for the arm bar. He's got it, and he nailed it right off the bat. Wow! Wow! Fahad is definitely he's here to stay, and uh, we'll get to see a lot of him in the future. Very very quick finish. Very aggressive fight from Fahad. Wow! Incredible performance there. I mean, he went up to uh, Ahmed the Yad here, coming from a, a jiu-jitsu background, and just grabbed him with that that armbar. So quick, so fast. Yeah, and not an easy thing to do against a Reza Martial Arts Center. They're very, very good in jiu-jitsu, but Fahad was just uh, so aggressive and really just, I think that kind of carried through the fight. Wow, now like he's doing some, uh, some breakdancing skills there. He's just playing there. That's great to see, and um, definitely he's really happy here to see him. Uh, definitely get a huge win here. Showing his athleticism. Good to see fighters having, uh, <laughs> having that much fun. Yeah, exactly, it's great. And this is like uh, we've been saying, this is the beginning stages of the uh, mixed martial arts culture here in Bahrain, and uh, it's really great to see this kid kind of really develop into an incredible athlete. Oh yeah. Huge, a lot of room for improvement, and uh, this isn't the end for this kid. Definitely.